Hello everyone. I thought today we would uh, start on our bunny journal together. I have been creating a few ephemera pieces, but I haven't uh, really put together the signatures or decided on a cover. So I have decided on a three signature um, journal using my porch prints digital French rabbit. So I have my digital papers folded in how I would like them and I'm going to do um, three signatures with um, a hidden spine in this book cover. So I do have quite a bit of room here which I'm happy about um, to add some lace and um, other items. So when I printed my digital I didn't print it borderless so the, the images are a little, the pages are a little smaller but that's okay. I don't um, particularly care if all my pages in a journal are um, the same exact same measurement. So as long as they don't ex extend past my cover, then I'm good. So I had this cover for a long time. I had uh, ripped it out as a, for a glue book. Um, so this is the cover we will use. It's a hard cover and the three signatures should fit nicely in there. Um, I will be covering it. I will choose a print from the digital, I believe, to um, put on the front. Um, we could do a few um, maybe cool things with the cover, and I will be covering uh, that spine as well. I also will be covering the inside of the book with some uh, nicer paper than that bright red. But uh, all in all, I, I do. Uh, I won't mind if some of the black shows. Um, I think it will look uh, really cute, even with um, like a bunny digital here. So just let's look at the digital papers I have put together. And I've collected some of the papers to add to the book as well. I have the cutout ephemera here. And also I have my um, ephemera that I have created so far for the journal. Um, I'm not sure I'll use all of it, but um, I'm sure we'll use most of it. So let's get this aside. So here is the papers, how I have set them up. So this is the first uh, page, uh, writing page. It's a beautiful digital. Um, I really liked it. And I printed mine on parchment paper um, just because I didn't want to do double-sided. And then there's a ton of writing space. It's, it's not bright white. It's uh, quite much more muted. I really, really liked it. So and I thought I would take one of these double journal cards. I'm not 100% sure and put them on the where the pages come together here, but I will be adding other pages as well. So we'll just see how that goes. So that would be the center of the first signature. How adorable. And then we would move on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pause the video for one second. My little Yorkie is whining. She wants to uh, be put up on her bed just a second sorry about that and back so and these are the backs of the first uh, signature as well so I thought like how cute eh? it's such a cute digital so that was my porch prince French rabbit so definitely go check her out she has some beautiful things so this would be the center signature I decided really uh, a nice digitals again so in the center signature I was thinking of putting in an envelope um, I've seen others do that and I've never done that because I haven't used a lot of digitals oh no that wouldn't work I'd have to put it together in the center somewhere so I would have to put it in like I leave it to me to put an envelope in and then I can't even use it so I'd have to put it in like this and then leave it unattached so you can open it and stitch it in the journal. So there's the center of that signature. So cute. And as I said, this journal is spoken for. It's for my niece. I will do... um. Some on camera and some off camera, but I will try to be a little bit better when I create journals to um, keep the process updated, even if I'm off camera a bit. And then this cute little guy. I just think it's so beautiful. 
it up a planner page for writing. And then that's the center of that signature. So for some reason I put it that way, but I don't mind. I know maybe put this little double journal card in the center and then you can have a little mini page. We'll see if I like it once I start adding other papers or not though. So there's the center of that signature, super cute. And I have a border around, um, because like I said, I, I forgot to print it as borderless. So that was my bad. Okay. So I was trying to, so let's count first how many, I think there's six or seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, seven. Well, eight with the little ones I put in. So each of them have eight. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to add a few more pages. I kind of went through to see. I thought I would like to add something like this. So it is a little bit long, but I'm going to just leave it. So that would be nine if I did that in each um, one. So I'm just going to set my journals up here. I hope that's uh, visible. With my ink, I can put them up here. And then I'll put the pages on each one. So I have more in here, I think. Yeah. I like to add different um, papers. This is just like a heavy straw brown paper. I don't even know where I got it. So it was in my stash. So there's nine. Um, these are a sketchbook page. They're quite old and aged. So there's 10. One for each. And then I thought a doily for each. So um, I'm going to put a larger doily in the middle signature. And then I had a couple small doilies somewhere here. I put those in the um, front and the back signature just to add a little bit of uh, texture. And what's not to like about a doily? So if you're new to junk journaling, um, if you weren't going to use a digital, you could just collect the papers. If you're going to do all junk journal papers, like all vintage papers, you would collect all your pages. I try, I'm going to try and have 15 pages per signature, and then we'll go from there. I also had this these coloring book pages, and this is for my niece. So let me see if I can find them all. I thought these were kind of cute. so. I thought we could do one in each signature as well. I think I've lost count, but that's okay. I'll just keep adding a few and go from there. And like I said, I won't mind if this journal is a little bit of a gator mouth. I don't want it to be too too thick so the spine is stressed. But And I wanted to add some vintage music paper, so we will do that. I'm going to tear the edges off, though. Um, just so more of the music paper will show. So I know I have more here somewhere. We'll put one in each signature as well. I love this music paper. I found it uh, thrifting and it was um, Bach, Mozart, and another one. I can't remember. <clears throat> but there's no words, it's just the music, and I really like that because it's a little more versatile to me. So then we can also add some coffee dyed paper. So I kind of went through some of my nicer ones that I tried coffee dyeing with a stencil. Um, so we could add a sheet of that in each. This one color transferred from something, I don't even know what, but I don't mind that. Uh, this one has like the alphabet on it, but still faint enough that you could write over top. And then this one has a darker side and a lighter side. So I kind of like the dark for the front. 
Okay, so let's see what we got here. So I can't remember what I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, with a doily thirteen. I thought maybe I could put in I have this Latin book page as well. Let me see where I put the others. So twelve. And then I thought we could add some graph paper. So that's thirteen. Sorry, I got it off to the side because it's just I have this bullet journal paper. I don't know if I want to use it or if I want to use the vintage lead. I think I'll use the vintage ledger paper. So what I was thinking was I was gonna I think fold it in half and tear it and then it'll be a shorter page but it'll be a nice little writing page now I think that's 15 I'm not a hundred percent sure but we can check I'll do the same here And I'll take the one with the number on it. I think it kind of looks cool. Okay. I do have some of that. And I do have a little bit more coffee dyed. So why don't we add one more coffee dyed? Because we only put in one coffee dyed. And this one, I think, is pretty. The stencil didn't work great. But it did work in some parts. I just think it's kind of pretty. And this one's a little blotchy, but... We have a train up here that goes by once a day, picks up its um, freight and goes to Ottawa. Okay, so let's see how we're doing here. That's feeling uh, pretty good. And then by the time we add ephemera, so these are the orders. So this is my first signature. So let's Let's put some of the papers in between our digitals then. So we'll put that one in there. Oh, I like that, how the dark kind of extends. And then we will maybe put, um, music paper maybe. can't remember what I just did oh I put the coloring book page okay so let's do the music page then which will have to be trimmed down I'm just kind of just getting my signature ready here we'll deal with the papers after um, I have another coffee dyed I have that straw paper which I think is kind of cool or heavy brown construction paper and then maybe we could add the doily here that would look nice. Or actually, maybe the doily on the construction paper. It is a little doily, isn't it? Maybe I should get a bigger one. Um, I thought maybe here I could put the sketchbook page and also another of the coffee dyed. That one's 
pretty. I'll do it this way. I kind of like it. There. And then I think on this one, I will put the graph paper. And here, maybe I'll put the vintage ledger. No, I think maybe here I'll put the Latin book page which is the vintage, the coloring book. Maybe I will put this here. Okay, so that's our first signature. Obviously, I'm going to trim the papers down a little bit. <clears throat> so we have the digital ledger paper, copy guide, another digital a coloring book page, the Latin dictionary page, another of the digital, the music paper, uh, the digital, the doily, the brown paper, graph paper, the digital, more coffee dyed, uh, old vintage sketchbook page, the little journal card on the back of the center of the signature. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the other uh, two on camera. I'll just maybe speed it up so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Okay, so there's our three signatures ready to go. I'll probably uh, trim the pages down off camera. Um, I will pro I will show you how I do the hidden spine. It is all over um, Instagram, or, sorry, not Instagram, uh, YouTube and Instagram. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a hidden spine. We'll come back, we'll decorate the cover. I'm gonna decide what digital I want for the cover. I do think I want some uh, lace on the cover as well. Um, and on the spine. So we will do that uh, next time we come. Just a quick video, uh, kind of to show how, you know, you can put a signature together rather rather quickly with the digital or not. You could even have just used all papers like this, added more coffee dyed paper, um, doubled up on some of the kinds of paper. Um, in here, use some scrapbooking paper as well. But in this particular journal, I am using a digital, my porch prints, French rabbit. Um, it is the first digital I have. Oh no, I, I can't say that. I have used another digital once before, a long time ago. I'm not, I'm just kind of getting into some of the digitals. I really do like if you have something specific in mind. But I also do like just a true junk journal. Um, and I will probably create one of those too with some of the vintage books I just got. And I'm also in behind the scenes doing something exciting um, that I will 
have a blurb about when I'm ready to go. And other than that, thanks for uh, joining me today. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring. I know that um, we see a lot of journals being put together on YouTube, but this is just my thought process behind this um, beautiful um, digital um, with some coffee dyed and vintage um, papers and different kinds of paper for my niece. So everyone have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye now.